Welcome back. In this video, I'll create a under construction page with a reverse timer using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. Here I have a Next.js project as coming soon with TypeScript and Tailwind CSS. First open the Tailwind config file and remove all the green colors from the background image. Then add our theme colors. Come to the global CSS file and remove all the unnecessary CSS codes. Then open the page.txs file and remove all the unnecessary codes. Next change the default function name to coming soon. Inside the layout file, first change the metadata details. Add the Montserrat font with 500 and 600 width. And call this font inside the body. Inside the main, add section with two aside. Adding container class to the main with full screen height. To put everything in the center of the page, I'm using flex. To put both aside side by side, here I'm using flex. Both aside width will be 50%. Now adding text inside h1 and h2 tag. Here I wrap under construction text with span. Inside h3 adding stay tuned. Now run the application. Now adding background color yellow to the body tag. Also decorating the tag. Here coming soon will have a different font and the first part will be small in size. Now I'm including another font from the Google. And adding that to the coming soon text. By adding background color and font width semi bold to make the under construction text highlighted. Doing the same thing for the H3 tag. Our text is ready. Now adding the countdown section. Here I'm adding span inside div and except the countdown value all text will be inside small tag. Let's add CSS to all four spans together.
Next, add our image on the right side. First, import the image from the path and using the image component of Next.js, I'm adding the image. Now move this countdown part inside a timer component. And import this timer component inside page.tsx file. Let's add the countdown functionality. First, I need a react state variable as time left. Now create a data model of our state variable. And assign this type to the state variable. Next, I need a get time left function with a parameter to calculate the value for the countdown. First, I'm creating four variables and assign zero as a string. Then calculate the time difference by passing the launch date to the date object. Here I'm using get time method to get the time and date in milliseconds. If the difference is equal or less than zero, then return the countdown as zero for all variables. To get the days, I need to divide the difference by the multiplication of milliseconds, seconds, minutes and the hours and convert this to a string. To get the hours, we need to remove the hours from the multiplication and calculate the modulars with the number of hours per day. Similarly for minutes, I need the modulus by the number of minutes per hour. For seconds, just the modulus by the number of seconds per minute. Initially call this function inside the state variable declaration process and pass the launch date. Here I need the launch date props of our component as string. And here just pass the launch date value. Now replace every field with the value of the time left. Here you get the value, but we need to refresh every time to get the update. To update every second, I need an interval function, which will call inside user effect react hook. And passing launch date props as dependency. Here we go. One more thing, I need to add zero before every single digit number to make it look good. For that, first store all the calculation value inside constant respectively. And remove the string conversion. Now check if value is less than 10, then add a zero before it. Else just convert the number to string. Repeat this with all other three variables.
here we go let's try by changing the launch date value our functionality is working fine but our page is not mobile friendly to make it mobile friendly let's add media query code Here is the final result. Let's test it in different device screen emulator. By the way, you can download this project from webgraphics.com. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and let me know your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.